guys, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any reality TV show news or recaps. So the first episode of Pump Rules was unfortunately pretty lackluster in my opinion. In a nutshell, all the episode covered was an alleged hookup that went down between Jax's girlfriend Brittany and Kristen. And on the flip side, the beef between Lala, James, and everybody else. I have to say that the cast really like dramatically changed their appearance this season to like an extent where it was like ugh. like Tom Sandoval who used to be like my bae went and like did one too many like Botox or fillers or whatever and now he looked like a wax figure the whole episode and he went and got one of those like single soccer mom can I talk to your manager haircuts where it was just a total mess complete with like a skunk highlight uh Lala Kent a lot of you guys are claiming she's in her 20s I refuse to believe it because to me she looks like a well-maintained trophy 40 year old wife with all the Botox and like the lip stuff and just I don't understand why she doesn't just like tone it down because to me whenever she was wearing even like no makeup she was like one of the most beautiful on the show you know like I don't understand why she has to like make herself look so like I don't there's no word for it it's just all the time Sheena who is to me probably the most gorgeous of all was gorgeous as usual except in her confessional she went and put on these weird blue contacts that just made her look like a drag queen and so creepy so anyway let's jump into it the big beef that took over the whole episode happened when all the gang was at a vip table at some party and lala and james's thirsty asses walked in and essentially just started acting really obnoxious and annoying they even went as far as taking the group's drinks and like pouring it for themselves making these gross weird motions and like they got kicked out of the table and went their own separate ways. So James was on one end when Sandoval and his little skunk strip came over to talk to him and James kind of confessed that the reason he's been acting like a, a mess is because his parents are splitting up, his dad is heading back to England. It's like, listen, you're a grown ass man pushing 30. Like, what do you care one way or the other about that kind of thing? And even if you do care and it devastates you, do you really need to act like a five-year-old? Like, is that what you're gonna use to get sympathy? Because it's not gonna work on a lot of people. And in Lala's corner, she talked to Ariana. And actually, <laughs> one thing I have to say before Tom and Ariana went to talk to Lala and James respectively, was that Katie, who is like the ultimate mean girl this episode, tried to lead a brigade against Lala in particular. And her grievance with Lala is the fact that she's claiming Lala has a boyfriend who's married with three kids. And so she just tries to paint her as the whore of Babylon this whole entire episode. And at a certain point, like she would squeeze it into every conversation. Like someone could be like, Katie, like what time's the bus coming? She'd be like, oh, the bus is coming in 15 minutes. And by the way, Lala's got a married boyfriend. What a hoe. Like she tried so hard to paint Lala and you just have to wonder like, what's your obsession with this girl at this point? If you're so much better than her then live your better life in peace like why do you care about people who are down here if that's your perspective of them it was just a mess she even went and told it to lisa vanderpump who's the boss of everyone and it was just you came off really annoying katie and just so desperate to take this girl down and i don't even really understand why back to the story of lala explaining to ariana what happened so she complains that like she's been bullied her whole life she feels like the other people are bullies too and it's so hard to take her seriously when you flash back to the fact that just 10 seconds ago she was calling people like fat blobs talking about oh you haven't worked on your summer body i could tell and she stood by as james accused the same girl katie like of being being pregnant because she was so big quote unquote and told Sheena nice nose job like you guys are the ones who started this beef and you want to play victims boy bye girl bye uh, uh, uh. And you guys, I don't know why, but there's something about Kristen Dowdy that makes me so itchy. Like her, like I'm itching right now. Like her hair is always so greasy. She always has this weird mischievous like look in her face she just she's just trouble and it makes me so damn itchy you guys i don't know what it is about it she looks like a greased up meth head to me and she didn't even really play that much of a role this entire episode it was mostly katie and james and lala and speaking of katie her relationship with schwartz is all kinds of wrong like he allowed two people to gang up on her a man to get in her face call her fat and like ask her if she was pregnant and all this stuff and like he allowed it the only time he spoke up was when she already handled it and the two of them were walking away but get this the second katie critiques tom the other tom sandoval schwartz before the sentence even fully leaves her mouth stands up for him and shuts her the hell down what kind of 
man is that that you have, Katie? Why do you jump so quickly for this other like man, but you don't jump quickly for your fiance? Like that's just weird. And she should be looking at him a little closer, especially considering a preview came out that the two of them were gonna be making out and all the other like, you know, side eye worthy shit we've seen the two Toms do. I don't know, Katie, but your man's a little how you doing if you ask me and like i said the last major storyline in this episode was jacks running around telling any and everybody that would listen that his girlfriend Brittany got down with Kristen, and it was just yeah so what like now what you want a cookie what do you like obviously it's not something that devastates you that people could give you advice on you know like what do you want and this really pissed off Brittany, who sort of cursed him out and told him like stop doing that stop spreading those kinds of rumors it's not true and as my boyfriend you should not be like acting like a fuck boy like that i was totally team Brittany on this until she went do you know how much i gave up for you to like move from kentucky to like here live in this apartment with you and it's like Brittany, you're really not giving up much like you worked at like a, a sports bar down in kentucky Kentucky. these days you're serving people Sauvignon Blanc instead like that's an upgrade in and of itself you're getting paid to be on reality television you're traveling around the world business class and was I mistaken or is there like a booking email in your Twitter bio meaning you are loving this fame and the freebies and the money and the press that comes with it so have several seats talking about I gave up a lot to be with you if anything being with Jax upgraded your life anyway that's all I had to say about this episode it was pretty decent so far but like I said the storylines were really really sparse and nothing worth really delving into I'm curious to know your opinions on how the cast has changed this season so far so leave all your thoughts in the comment section down below and as usual we'll chat you can also like this video subscribe for more share it with your friends or follow me across social media where I do love speaking with you that's all for now thank you so much for watching